Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Francisca and for today's video, I'll be showing you how I did a beautiful set of like purple spring nails. This design is going to include transfer foils, ombre and rhinestones are going to be in it. But yeah, um, to start off, I have already prepped my tips. Um, they've been buffed, they've been cleaned and they have their base coat. And then I'm taking a... Oh yeah, and then I, then once I applied the base coat, I cured it. And after that, I am just going to go ahead and apply this really soft, like lilac, um, like a really, really, really pastel, almost white purple. And I play it to the nails where I want to. Um, one of the nails is going to be solid, and the other two I am applying it only half ways because those nails are going to be... Um, including an ombre so as soon as i am done with that color i'm gonna go ahead and take this other darker purple and apply it again about halfway so it's okay if it doesn't completely touch the other color because right there it's gonna be where we're gonna start to ombre it and then for my pinky taking again that darker purple apply it on all throughout the tip and once you're done, I'm going to go ahead and give it my, place it under the light and set it to cure for about a minute. I always do a minute. You could do less. I think it's like 30 seconds, but I was just to do a minute. Now, once I am done with my first coat, I'm going to go ahead and do the second coat. But um, to the clear now and where you can see the clear, that's where I'm going to be applying my glue for my transfer foils. And the other nails, I am going to go ahead and apply um, the same color so I could give it that second coat. And I'm pretty much going to be done with those for now. But yeah, make sure you move your tip from side to side. Make sure you tilt it and make sure that you get every single side of it. Um, make sure that you also work in thin layers so that um your nails have time to cure under the light go ahead and place it under my light set it to cure for about another minute and now i'm gonna go ahead and take my nails in which i'm gonna apply my transfer foils now i really like the color and the look of these foils because they have like a hint of blue but then they have that purple but it's not too strong and overpowering and I think it is perfect for spring but yeah um I start and placed it on top and then I just um pressured it or rubbed it on there and I would lift the corners and the sides to make sure that it was already stuck on it if it hadn't already um transferred I just go and try to rub it a little bit more or pressure it into transferring my foils. For my thumbnail, I am just going to go ahead and um, apply it half ways down. As you can see, when I applied my transfer, um, my transfer glue, I did apply it half ways starting off from the color because this nail, it's going to have an ombre effect on it and again doing the same thing that I did with the other nail um, just place my foil on top I always cut them because I don't want to have like the whole strand of like the foils but yeah um, I cut them and then I placed it and again rubbing it and making sure that it's stuck on there if it's not I go back and try to um, make sure that it has that transfer on it so that's pretty much it for the transferring now I'm gonna go ahead and start to attempt to do my ombre now with the ombre I am using this sponge I found this method to be easy for me you can also do it with the brush I haven't tried it with the brush but I've I've been liking this like how it comes out with my sponge so uh, 
then I just apply like a slightly amount and tap it on and make sure that it's gonna take a while um it's gonna take multiple coats and then I'm gonna take my other nail in which I'm gonna be doing my ombre and again um, applying applying it and kind of um tapping it and throughout the coats you're gonna see how the effect is gonna take more and more um it's gonna come more to that ombre effect at first it doesn't look like it's doing much but with the coats and thin layers you start to see it and I really like it make sure that you cure between each layer um, I set it in the light for 30 seconds um, since it's these two I put one in the light and I cure it and while meanwhile I'm working on the other one that way I'm not wasting time and trust me you need to have a lot of patience for this if you don't know how to do it um, once you learn you're gonna get the hang of it and do it really easy so I'm just going to continue and do the same method throughout um, all the way until I am happy with my results. Just um, applying layers and curing. Once I am done with my final cure, what I am going to do is now add some rhinestones to the nails. So for this first nail, I will be applying a larger rhinestone, kind of like a teardrop shape to it. And apply it in the middle. Um, I am using a rhinestone gel it's really sticky but it really helps with these larger stones and i'm gonna be applying the large stone in the middle and then off to the sides i will be applying some smaller ones so yeah as you can see i'm just gonna finish applying my rhinestones to this nail and what i like about using gel to set in my rhinestones is that it doesn't dry until you put it in the light and it's cured so it gives you that time that you need to adjust them and place them wherever you need just in case you make a mistake and don't like the placement of them you could go ahead and fix it so yeah i am just adding as i said three rhinestones on the side of that big one and once i am done placing them i'm gonna go ahead and continue with my second nail now on this nail um my design is gonna be pretty simple so yeah i want to take my gel and place it right where i'm gonna be placing the rhinestones and i always start off in the middle now i am placing like a kind of large rhinestone at the middle and the top of my nail well the side that's like towards your cuticle and then I'm just going to add to the side of it three on each side. So in total, it's going to be seven rhinestones. And I am doing from largest to smallest. And yeah, just make sure that they're in the right position that you need them. So for now, I am just going to go ahead and finish applying the rest of the rhinestones to this nail. Once I am done with it, what I'm going to do is take the following nail, which is the purple one or lilac i don't know what color you guys consider it but yeah um so for this now i will be like doing just a straight line of rhinestones so i am taking my gel and as i said um just gonna be one straight line through through the nail from from top to bottom and after that when you're done applying it you want to go ahead and take um Right here, I did take this diamond-shaped stone and I placed it right in the center. After that, um, you want to go ahead and take like the regular rhinestones, the circle ones that are normally used. And I am placing like a larger one, like a bigger size, right underneath the diamond. And then I'm just going to go ahead and work my way down in a straight line from bigger to smallest. So I am doing a total of four for different sizes. So once I do finish applying the ones in the bottom, I am going to go ahead and do the rest and place my, sorry, my nail and the light to all of them to cure.
for about a minute or so and then all there is left to do is apply my top coat so I will be using a glossy top coat um, when you apply your your top coat you want to make sure that you do not place it over your rhinestones because it could affect the way that they shine so just make sure that you work your way around them uh, make sure you get the little corners and that you don't miss a spot but then don't overdo it okay don't don't put it on your stones because you could affect the shine of them and take your time but yeah once i am done i'm just gonna go ahead and set it to cure for two minutes because it is the last one and i want to be safe with how um how it cures and that would be it um once they are cured i i am done with my set i will be packing packaging them because um for this one person that i made them it is a custom order and i really like the way they came out so if you did also um please give this a thumbs up please consider subscribing and comment down below anything that you would like to see so yeah thank you so much for watching and let your creativity take you places where you've never been